Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. I'm back with another Indian recipe and that's because I found inspiration. I went to my local supermarket and I picked up a ready to eat white tandoori chicken and I thought to myself why don't I make this? I checked the ingredients on the label and it was really simple but it had cashews which are not really ideal on keto so I decided to give it my own twist and make a headbangers kitchen white tandoori chicken. Anyway enough jibber jabber let's go and make it. So the first thing we're going to do is take a handful of almonds and I'm going to pour some hot water over that and let it soak for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes I'm going to put it in my blender and I'm going to blitz it into a nice fine paste. And if you want to make it look a little more professional, you can take out the skins and use skinless almonds. The next thing I'm going to do is take my chicken legs and I'm using the entire leg and I'm going to score the chicken. This is a standard way that you score tandoori chicken. Two gashes on the top side of the thigh, two gashes on the top side of the leg and one at the on the back side or the bottom side or the flip side whatever it is anyway now it's time to marinate the chicken and we're going to marinate it with salt pepper ideally use white pepper if you have it I didn't garam masala powder ginger garlic paste and that almond paste that you just made and give it all a good mix and you're gonna want to use your hands for this so that you can rub that marinade into the chicken flesh that sounds really brutal like a death metal song rub that marination into the chicken flesh anyway once that's done let it marinate for an hour or so and remember the longer you marinate it the better now it's time to cook the chicken and I'm using a frying pan and in that I'm going to add some ghee and then I'm gonna put that chicken into the ghee and you just want to let it cook for about three to four minutes on a medium high heat you want to get some nice color on the chicken you want a crust to develop now I'm also going to add a little extra ghee I thought I was a little stingy on it earlier now it's time to flip that chicken over and oh yeah that looks so good now you can also cook these in the oven no problem I don't know why but for some reason I just prefer kebabs that are pan fried I don't know what it is about them but Unless you have a tandoor, I prefer the pan fry. Anyway, now I'm going to cover it and lower the heat and let it cook for a good 10 minutes because you want that chicken to cook all the way through. And of course, open it up, flip the chicken around. You don't want to burn it on either side, but you do want it to cook all the way through. And since this is chicken on the bone and I haven't separated the leg and the thigh, it is going to take a little longer to cook than if you had separated the thigh and the leg or if you uh, used boneless chicken meat. Now once it's done cooking I'm going to take it out of the frying pan and then I'm going to use one of these steel grill plates and basically give it a finish on the naked flame. Yep, this is what's going to give you that lovely char on the outside of the chicken. It's going to give you that tandoor flavor which you probably can't get at home because you don't have a tandoor. So just give it a sort of roast on that open flame on both sides and both pieces. And then my friends, it's pretty much ready. So yep, our white tandoori chicken is ready and it looks absolutely delicious. Anyway, time to taste. Oh, but before that I'm actually just going to cut into it so you can see how beautifully it is cooked. And that my friends is nom 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 nom. Anyway, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste the white tandoori chicken and I put a little bit of lime on top of mine and I'm gonna just feast on it like a king a big juicy chicken leg that is so heavy I can't even hold it up also I worked on my biceps today which explains why this feels really heavy anyway enough jibba jabba mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. moist juicy succulent mm. So good. Oh wow. That is packed with flavor. And can you believe how simple the recipe was? Anyway, I hope you guys are going to make this at home. Take pictures, tag Headbangers Kitchen on Instagram, and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking.